What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. Since about Jordan Peele's Nope in this video here today and going over this theory that this fan has that I came across over on the Nope subreddit about what the commentary is actually going to be in this movie. They think it has to do with exploiting for fame. Now this is uh, coming again from a Reddit user. Shout out to you for 10 underscore AD underscore 8806. I'll leave a link to your post down in the description. This has me thinking that maybe this is true because I was talking about in my videos how, you know, a lot of people coming out of test screenings are saying that there's no social commentary. And I'm thinking maybe it's just something very subtle and completely different than what you are used to with Jordan Peele, that it's kind of going over your head. And this would be something I could see being done. If it's not something that, again, is very forceful with how it's being presented, it's something that's more more subtle and more laid back. If this is it, then you know what? I can see how a lot of people could come out saying there's no social commentary, especially if you're looking for something race related. Not to say that there isn't something race related having to do with a theme like that, but if it's not specifically talking about a certain race versus another race, then this could go over some people's head. Like the idea of classism with us, that's something that a lot of people deal with day in and day out. It's not just a, a race related topic there. So that's something I feel like a lot of people were able to attach themselves onto and catch on to as far as like what the commentary was there. And then, of course, with Get Out when it relates to race and one race thinking they're superior to the other. But, you know, this other whole stuff that went along with it, not, not believing themselves to be racist, you know, that all that stuff is a little bit more obvious. But something like this, I can see that going over a lot of people's heads. But they said that. The movie is about the evils of exploiting one another to achieve fame and fortune. The new Rainbow trailer is a reference to Judy Garland's exploitation as a child actor on the set of The Wizard of Oz. The rainbow banner hanging from the spaceship is somewhere over the rainbow, their ticket to fame. Likewise, Gordy the Chimp, who I guess is the chimp shown in the trailer, the final trailer. Gordy the Chimp was exploited for a TV show. In the last trailer, there is a smiling Asian man in scrubs surrounded by people running the opposite direction in panic. Pretty sure this is Gordy's vet caretaker and that he in protest orchestrated Gordy's rampage. Also, they explained that a black man riding a horse was the first ever motion picture, but no one cares about his identity. I'm going to leave it there. No clue how it connects with the UFOs, but pretty sure Kiki's obsession with getting the Oprah shot is going to make her the bad guy. I like that. I like that. Because again, Kiki Palmer was announced as being the villain in the movie when reports started coming out about her being in this movie it was describing her as the villain there was nothing and there still is nothing i can see that shows that she is the villain in this movie but maybe it again is her actions that make her the villain she's not outwardly just evil but it's the fact that you are trying to capture this phenomenon for fame and attention and in return this oprah shot you want to catch is going to end up making you the bad guy in the scenario when it relates to all these other things going on around us that are very similar to that that have to do with exploitations for fame you know not really not really looking at the bigger picture you're just focusing on your own benefit from it and that's all you can see that's all your mind will let you focus on and as far as like how the aliens connect into it the aliens connect to it in the sense of i guess this is just what the phenomenon is to get to talk about this commentary of exploiting things for fame the scenario here just happens to do with aliens it could be anything to get the point across about how people love to exploit things for fame and attention and recognition and not really get to the nitty-gritty of whatever the issue is they just want to exploit it for their own benefit and as far as like again the aliens because some people again are going to be like well what does that have to do with aliens the aliens are again are just the backdrop that's what i'm going with there might be something else that has to do with the aliens as far as this movie but i'm going to just assume that the aliens for now are just the backdrop to get that message across it's still of course having to do with an alien invasion but it's the people's actions and their responses to the alien invasion that is where the commentary is going to come from as it pertains to whatever Jordan Peele is going to be talking about. If this has to do with exploitation for fame, which I would say is a big problem that goes on right now. It continues to go on. I feel that uh, a lot of people as a black person in this country exploit things regarding this this race of people for fame attention virtue signaling you know there's so many different things you can comment on when it pertains to that 
especially if you're just going to go, of course, out of your way to make more commentary about other other black issues, since we know that Jordan Peele has done that already with us and get out. So if this somehow, again, ties into what he wants to say about black people in America, you know, that's him. And I think using aliens as a backdrop, that's what you want to do. Then do that. As far as, again, like the exploitation for fame, that's something that I'm more now than ever hoping that it is because I could see that very, very much so being something that goes over people's heads because it's not that in your face in the sense of, OK, you have a clear, obvious group of individuals who are racist. They want to take over the bodies of these other people who they think have a genetic advantage, but they want to use them to, of course, propel themselves even higher. That's the one thing. Very obvious to pinpoint. <laughs> the second film he has, uh, Us, having to do with classism. Again, something that can be easily identified, but something like this exploitation for fame, depending on how it's depicted on screen, if this is true, and I'm just, again, assuming that, let's say, this theory is actually what's going on. If this were to be the case, then... The fact that so many people are coming out of these screenings saying that there is no social commentary tells me that, again, it's going over a lot of people's heads. It's something that isn't as forceful. Not that Us and Get Out was overly forceful. or It's not something I guess the better term would be obvious. It's not something that's overly obvious. It's something that, again, can be done by any 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 one person. It doesn't have to be a certain race. Anyone can exploit anything for fame. Case in point, if our one of our protagonists who is black ends up exploiting this alien invasion for her own benefit because if this is what it is then i'm very intrigued and i think it be, can be something very thought-provoking that open up open up the door for a lot of discussions to be had about modern things and things going on in american culture there's so many different things you could do with a narrative like that if that's what the commentary is going to be centered on I know a lot of people, again, might think that the whole alien invasion is a little bit exaggerated if that's all you want to commentate on. But again, it can be done in such a subtle way that still at the end of the day, you don't have a movie that's about that. It's just a simple alien invasion horror movie with other things it's talking about as pertains to exploitating things for fame. And in this case, people are going to exploit this alien invasion for their own game, which is kind of what now I think Stephen Young's character does throughout the movie. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification. You can never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.